There's a new book out in Austria called At the Dictator's Service. It's the story of Kim jong Ryol, who spent two decades going on European shopping sprees for North Korean rulers. Photos show him as a young man, as a military officer, and lying on a bed the day after he faked his own death to start a new secret life for 16 years. Kim says there's no criticizing the government in North Korea. <laughs> Against the party, against the small party members, and against the party bigwigs, nobody can say a single word against the Central Committee. If you say just a little bit, you will immediately disappear. This gang is keeping the North Korean system together. In addition to clamping down on criticism, Defector Kim claimed the late dictator Kim Il-sung and his son and successor Kim Jong-il spent millions pampering and protecting themselves with Western goods, including luxury cars, carpets, and exotic foods. In fact, the colonel claimed Kim Il-sung would only eat foreign foods, at one point sending a delegation of cooks to Austria to visit renowned culinary schools and restaurants to collect recipes. Meanwhile, the vast majority of the population in the communist nation struggled to cobble together the barest necessities to survive. The colonel said the injustice of his situation is what led him to drop out and go into hiding. He said the lack of any change in the North Korean leadership has now prompted him to go public despite any dangers he may face. I would not have wanted to die before publishing this book. This is the conclusion of my whole life, the final result. Now that it is published, I can pass away with a good conscience. Kim predicted that the North Koreans will now try everything to catch and kill him. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.